All right, you guys. I want you all to take a look at this. So, the United Nations, they just put up a statue right outside their headquarters, okay? And look at this. This is a tweet from the United Nations saying, A guardian for international peace and security now sits outside the UN headquarters, all right? And they're saying the guardian is a fusion of a jaguar and an eagle. Okay, now look. This is really interesting right here because, um, first of all, we know uh, in First Thessalonians 5.3, it tells us we know that for when they shall say peace and safety, then sudden destruction cometh upon them and they shall not escape. When they shall say peace and safety, right, then sudden destruction comes, okay? And they're calling this freaking statue a guardian for international peace and security, Okay, and the statue itself, I mean, look at this thing. You know, for anyone with eyes to see and ears to hear and who knows the Bible, uh, we know in Revelation that the beast, the Antichrist, is described in this manner. Okay, Revelation 13, 2. And the beast which I saw was like unto a leopard. And his feet were as the feet of a bear, and his mouth as the mouth of a lion. And the dragon gave him his power and his seat and his great authority. Okay, uh, look at this thing. Now, I've made videos about how the United Nations is going to be a huge... Um, they're going to be a huge part of this Antichrist beast system. They're going to play a major role in... Ushering in this new world order, okay? Because what is the beast of Revelation? It's a um, it's a dragon with ten heads, seven heads, or, or ten heads, right? And those heads represent ten kings, okay? And we know that Babylon uh, sits on the beast, riding the beast, pretty much in control of the beast. And we know that Babylon is America. So America is going to be in charge over the UN, but the UN in America is going to make up this beast system, right? Because it's 10 kings of 10 different nations, all right? And the Vatican's going to play a part, the Pope, you know, that could be the false prophet. Um, but look at this thing, okay? Like unto a leopard. Now, they're calling it a jaguar, right? But... The beast had feet, whereas the feet of a bear. Look at this thing's feet. Look at the feet on this. Freaking weird statue for peace and security. Okay, and I mean, a uh, mouth of a lion. And not only that, but Daniel 7.4. Look, it's got wings, right? Okay, Daniel 7.4 says that the first beast was like a lion... And had eagle's wings. Alright, so I mean, they're pretty much letting it be known. They're they're setting up this Antichrist system, this beast system. They're making way for the Antichrist, getting ready to usher in this system, okay, this new world order, which um all this shenanigans that's going on now uh is playing its part, it's playing its role in all this, okay. There's never going to be a normal. We're not going back to normal. They're using this to usher in the Antichrist and the New World Order beast system. It is here now. It's being implemented. And that's what this statue is, okay? They're they're setting up. They're letting it be known because they got to put it in your face and show it to you. And God's people with discernment, we know exactly what this is. I mean, the, it just described what this is. And this statue is literally everything that the beast Antichrist is described as, right? Um, but... People who are not walking in the spirit, they can't see this stuff because the things of the spirit are only discerned through the spirit. And because they don't have the spirit of God and they're not walking in it, uh, they can't see this stuff. Even when it's right in front of their face, God says that they'll have eyes to see and yet won't be able to see it. And they'll have ears to hear and yet not be able to hear and understand what you're telling them. Uh, even when you're showing it right to their face, uh, it's because... 
they're blind. They've been blinded by Satan. They're under Satan's spell, uh, the delusion, and unfortunately, that's way too many people. You know that even when something like this is right in front of their face, and all they have to do is put it together, just like the Pharisees were when Jesus was right in front of them. These were people who supposedly were super knowledgeable in the Bible, the Word of God. Yet when God was right there in front of their face, they couldn't see Him, and they actually thought He was evil, and they killed Him and crucified Him. They're under Satan's grand delusion. Satan literally has them under a spell. Because they deny Jesus, because they reject God, uh, how does the Samson say it? We were fools! And because we rejected God, tacitly accepting Satan, we must suffer through the apocalypse. Yeah, because we rejected God and passively accepted Satan, there's no middle ground here, okay? You're either on one side or the other. Um, and God says that, this is what God said, I wrote this down. God says that in this hour, he needs full allegiance in this hour. The time is here and the hour has arrived, okay? You're either on one side or the other. And if you're not all out for God, uh, there's no being lukewarm and, and, and sitting out and thinking you're just going to be neutral. No, if you're not for God, then you are knowingly or unknowingly on the side of Satan. And if you can't see what's going on and you don't have any interest. When God was right in front of their face, they couldn't see it. And they thought he was of the devil and they killed him and crucified him. Okay, and they're doing the same thing to God's people right now. They can't see it when we're trying to show them and tell it to them right in front of their face. They're under Satan's spell. They can't understand this. And Jesus said, if they hated me first, they're going to hate you. You know, there's going to come a time here real soon where, and we already see it starting. But they're going to start throwing us in the prison and persecuting us. And they'll do all these things. Thinking they're doing good when they're when they're crucifying us and throwing us in the prisons for hate speech and all this stuff. They'll do all these things because of my namesake. So now, you know, they're taking down the videos. They're censoring the stuff. This is just the beginning. But soon, basically, God's people are going to rise up. And those two witnesses, the Holy Spirit is going to shake this world up one last time and shake these freaking people and the whole world out of their delusion, out of the lies that everyone wants to live in. We see it all happening now. Everyone's living this freaking lie, and they love it. They love it. They love living the lie, and they want to continue in the delusion. So when people like us and people like Jesus and people like the two witnesses, when we come and present the truth to them, um, and they're... They don't want to come out of the lie. They don't want to come out of the delusion. So they're going to shut us down, take down the videos. Um, and then when it starts getting too bold and those and the two witnesses start doing those miraculous powers, it's going to come to the point where they're going to start killing people for having the power of Jesus Christ, for having the Holy Spirit. Because we're going to shake this world up one last time. And the truth is going to be so powerful in this lie of a world, this delusion of a world, that it's going to literally come down to that point. I just saw today, it took down a video where all I did was read from the Bible. All I did was read from the three epistles of John, and the video is taken down for uh, cyberbullying and harassment. I was looking at this statue. Uh, the Holy Spirit, God told me, he brought something to my remembrance, and it was the Denver International Airport. When I was looking at this thing, I thought that the artwork on it looked really familiar, and I thought it looked a lot like the um, the Denver International Airport murals. If you guys know about the Denver International Airport, uh, there's a lot of subliminal uh, messages in there, a lot of New World Order symbolism, and I've got videos about it on my channel. I can't talk too much about it, but I'll show you these murals that are in this airport, and it's kind of the same artwork is on this statue. So this is completely God who brought this to my remembrance because I go and watch this video again and look at this, the Denver International Airport, right? And these murals are literally depicting 
what is happening right now. Um, you can go watch the video on my channel if you look for it. It's called Denver International Airport, something like that. But basically, under these murals, it says AUAG, right? And if you go look up AUAG, which is not silver and gold, but there's something else that AUAG stands for. These murals in this airport, look at them. Represent AUAG, Australian antigen, okay? What's going on now? But, I mean, you have to seek the truth out for yourself. And a lot of people don't seek out the truth, and they don't seek out the things of God. And instead, they seek out, like, the newest Netflix shows, or they seek out the latest music. And so, all we can do is plant the seeds, but what you do with it is going to determine your fate and your destiny. So, I just want to leave y'all with that. Um, you know... Really, I'm going to re-upload this video how I wanted to make it on my second channel. So everyone needs to go over there and watch that and look at that. Because this is just the dumbed down basic version that YouTube will allow me to put up. But there is a lot more in-depth stuff I wanted to get into with all this. But, I mean, it's here, guys. It's, it's really here. And we used to be called conspiracy theorists and crazy for all this. We've literally been saying that all this stuff that's happening now... What's going to happen? Um, there's videos on my channel where I didn't know it, but the Holy Spirit obviously did. Videos from 2019 saying that this thing that happened in 2020 was going to happen. Like there's literally videos on my channel saying this is what's going to happen. And I didn't know, but the Holy Spirit did. So... You got to take it to God. You got to take it to God. Um, it is the glory of God to conceal a thing, but the honor of kings is to search out a matter. So I'm going to leave it at that. What do you guys think of this? Beast system is here.